New details in the investigation of two possible serial killers on the east and west coast. On Long Island, New York, detectives say they found new evidence at the home of the suspect charged in the murders of three women. And in Oregon, investigators now say the mysterious deaths of four women this year are all linked. ABC's Tim Pulliam has the latest on both investigations. In Oregon, a bombshell announcement in the suspicious deaths of at least four women. After investigators first said the murders of Kristen Smith, Charity Perry, Bridget Webster, and Ashley Real were unrelated, now acknowledging they believe the killings are all linked. Their bodies discovered this year in various locations after being reported missing. Authorities say they now have a person of interest in custody. The district attorney's office hasn't elaborated on how he might be connected to the victims who were killed, but said they've conducted several interviews and the investigation is ongoing. The revelation in Oregon comes just as investigators in New York expand their search for evidence in the Gilgo Beach serial killings. Crews in Chester, South Carolina, searching a property owned by Gilgo Beach murder suspect Rex Hewerman. Authorities say this Chevy pickup truck is linked to the investigation. Police in Long Island believe Hewerman is the suspect in the 2010 murders of three women who worked as escorts. Melissa Bartholomew, Megan Waterman, Amber Costello, and is a prime suspect in the killing of Maureen Brainerd Barnes. Their bodies found wrapped in burlap along Gilgo Beach. Police have been searching for evidence in Hewerman's Long Island home and say they retrieved more than 200 guns. How concerning is that, that he had that kind of an arsenal? Well, I mean, I think it's, it's, it was concerning and concerning enough where we didn't want to have the arrest at the house. Prosecutors say the architect and father lived a double life. Investigators are now checking to see if Hewerman could be tied to any other unsolved murders. The search has also expanded to Las Vegas. Tim Pulliam, ABC News, Los Angeles.